So, hey guys, Patera here, Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. Let's just chat it out here for a few minutes. I put out a video this morning about get your cash out of the bank. Y'all from the bank. Yeah, I did. And thank you so much for so many of you that have tuned into that so far. I, I hope to get this video up. That was this morning. I'm running errands, so I hope to get this up before bedtime. So we'll just make it a simple video. But let's talk about a few issues um, that I think are important uh, to cover. Most of y'all have been fantastic, so thank you so much always. But there's always a few knuckleheads here and there, okay? So let's start off by saying that if I hurt your feelings, this is not the channel for you. I'm not your girl. Please go watch Pinwheels and Pegasus, okay? Pretty shiny, spinny things or something that makes you very, very happy. Okay? <laughs> hey, I could talk to you a little bit heavy today like Pinball did. Boy, y'all got him all riled up, didn't ya? Woo! I was cheering him on. I was like, get it. Get it. Get it. I love it. I love it. You just got to put people in their place. I mean, people just, I don't what, I don't know what's happened. So we're going to talk about a couple of issues here, and I'm probably going to hurt a few feelings, but that's pretty much the way that it rolls. You know, it doesn't matter what you do anymore. You're going to hurt somebody's feelings because some people just don't want to hear truth. They don't want to take any responsibility for themselves. Um, and if you actually require them to apply any type of listening or reading comprehension skills, boy, you're just asking way too much. So I put the video up this morning. And like I said, the video is doing great and I appreciate you for watching and 99% and, and of you are always awesome. But there's always a few that I have to look at and go, really? So this is what I want to say. The independent mind, the independent heart is and always has been the biggest threat to others. See, when you start talking about trying to be more self-reliant, more independent, making your own decisions, deciding what works for you, your farm, your family, your finances, your body, then see, that really pushes on some people. And because not only does that take away their sense of control, but for those that don't necessarily control you, what that does is that scares them because they don't have the same size of gonads that you have, uh, or, or some people would call that brass or gumption. But, you know, they don't have it. They just don't have it. Either, uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know if their granny just wasn't as awesome as ours. I don't know. <laughs> but they just weren't gifted this. Um, sometimes they're just taken over by fear and paralysis. So when you start talking about being more independent, doing things that um, require less approval of others, um, when you are growing your own food, when you're controlling your own destiny better, when you are controlling your finances, see, that forces them to have to think about what they aren't doing today. I always give this example because it's so, it is so amazing to me how this really simple, stupid analogy applies. Remember back in high school or even middle school when you hung out with the cool kids for maybe at least a short period and you found out they really weren't all that great and some of them were really mean and you decided you weren't going to follow that crowd anymore and you were going to do your own thing and maybe at that point one or two of them became really mean to you or bullied you at that point because you decided to go do your own thing. The same situation applies here because Here's what I want to say. Anybody that is trying to talk you out of thinking about or moving towards being more self-reliant, apply, there's a hundred different scenarios we can come up with. But in this case today, when I see a few commenters telling people that they shouldn't pull their mo any money, we'll get to this, hang with me, pull money out of the bank that they should just keep spreading it to other banks and how dangerous it is for you to have cash. Um, what I want to know is, sir, what I want to know is, ma'am, how is that affecting your bottom line? Because the only way that anybody in their right mind, in this day and age particularly, that would tell anybody to at least not have probably a month's worth of bills worth of cash somewhere in case there is any type of emergency. I'm going to tell you what right now, I don't know who you work for, but uh, it, it certainly isn't uh, somebody that I recognize as being uh, good. So what is your, what's your interest there? When you have 
pardon me, I'm going to step on some toes right now. When you have people pushing you to buy a house right now in this market, with the housing market like it is, with inflation like it is, with gas prices like it is, uh, with interest rates going up like they are, especially if somebody has a lot of debt, uh, they're working for themselves. See, these people want you vested in the stock market, they want you investing in the housing market, and they want your money in the bank, baby, because that's how they get their almighty dollar. I said it. I said it. I said it. Now, in my video, I obviously have, I you know, if you actually listen to the video, I don't tell you to, you know, Throw on your uh, throw on your drawers, throw on your boots, run to the bank today, empty every dime, and start stuffing it in a mattress. I didn't say anything like that. I basically talked to the trust factor being very low. I talked to the fact of all the things that have been happening uh, in Canada and China right now. Uh, and the fact of the matter is that you should have cash on hand for an emergency regardless. I clearly tell you I am not a banker, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a financial advisor, and I don't want to be your mama. I got enough kids to take care of, okay? So what I'm telling you is you need to do your own homework. It really is surprising, and I don't mean, I, I'm not being harsh here, but it is surprising to me the, that there are adults out there that act like you, they don't understand what that means. What do you mean I'm supposed to have $100? You're so brainwashed, I'm going to say that because somebody needs to tell you, hate me, okay, what's new? Somebody needs to tell you that you do not have to rely on the bank, your credit cards, and somebody else telling you when to go use your outhouse when they want you to versus when you think you need to. Y'all gotta start thinking for yourself. I don't know how much money you have. I don't want to know. Please don't comment. Please don't tell people what you're doing. Please don't ask where you need to go bury your money somewhere. I'm not telling you to do any of that. I'm simply speaking to the fact that you need to protect yourself. Now, some folks wanted to talk about an economic collapse and the dollar is going to be worthless. Probably. But you know what? You're not psychic. You don't know when that's going to happen. We can all guesstimate and point to signs, but we were all, we've all been guesstimating a lot of things the last couple of years, and they still haven't happened yet. The point of the matter here is none of us know exactly what's going to happen and when. So the best thing to do is to be as self-reliant as you possibly can. What that means is, is to be prepared. I tell you, we tell you to have your house in order. There are several things that come with that in the very, very get-go. First of all, you need to make sure you got water, make sure you've got food, you've got medicine, pet needs, children's needs, and you can wipe your rear end in emergency. All wrapped up in that, you should have some cash on hand. I didn't say have a million dollars and 45 gold one ounce coins stuffed in your mattress. I said, if you need to go get groceries, milk, if you need to pay the bills this month or get some gas, you've got a little bit of cash to do so. Heck fire, Carrie Underwood had a video, excuse me, a song that came out like 15 years ago. Um, and the mama talks about how she put a 50, uh, and there's a 50 in the ashtray. If you get low on cash, go look it up. Anybody with a half a, half a sense and you have a lick of sense going is going to understand that you should always have cash. This is exactly what your grandmother would tell you. If you want to keep your money in the bank, have mercy. If you want to go invest in the stock market, rip it up, girl. Get on in that dip. Whatever you want to do, that's your business. It's not mine or anybody else's. But what I'm going to tell you and I would tell my, ch I tell my children, I tell my Nana, and I'd tell you if you were standing right there by that fencing pole right there, I would tell you, you better make sure at all times that you have some form of cash on hand in case of an emergency. How much that is, or how much you need, or what you're comfortable with, or wh whether you wanna stuff it in your bra when you go to Walmart, that is all your business. It's not mine. And it's no one else's that's commenting on any of my videos or anywhere else's. You're going to have to start thinking more independently. And you're going to have to realize the big picture of you are on your own. 
No one is coming to help you. No one's coming to help me. And these knucklehead numbskulls that are trying to push you into making all these financial decisions so they can continue to prop themselves up and manipulate everything that's going on around you is not looking out for your interest. And I assure you, when you can't make your house payment and you don't have gas in your car and you can't feed little Johnny at the dinner table, they won't be there to help you either. So you've got to start thinking about all scenarios. If you are an independent, prepared mind, you are going to be doing everything possible to be making sure you are diversified in your self-reliance, not necessarily in your portfolio. If you wanna take your money and buy gold today, whoo, go sister. If you wanna buy you some uh, uh, Canadian maples and silver, get on it. I hear it's a little bit lower these days. You might get a good deal. That's your business. But by all means, please have cash on hand. Someone else asked me, they were like, well, uh, you don't understand, Patera. Uh, we don't have control over the fact that our money is in the bank. Uh, everybody has direct deposit, and if they have a job, then their money has to be direct deposit. Do you know how to get up out of your recliner today and get in your car and drive to the bank and say, I'd like to, I need a withdrawal of $200 today. Now, I, I, I have a hard time believing that you cannot put that two and two together. In order to be self-reliant, in order to be more independent, in order to have a little cash on hand, you might have to get up and put a little effort in. There is no magical fairy that runs around is going to do all this work for you, whether it's buy your beanie weenies and spam, milk your cow, or go get cash for you. That's on you, sister. You have to rise up out of the lazy boy and get in the lazy, uh, you know, whatever and head on over to the bank. You know what I meant? Some people just want to argue with an anvil just to hear their head rattle. So I get really frustrated when people find excuses as to why they can't or they won't or they shouldn't and then try to push it on other people. Get up off your butt and make it happen. And stop making it out like other people like me that are trying to encourage people to think and to do. Like we're some whack, we're trying to make people, you know, run around and do whacked out things. And no, we're not. We're trying to make you think. We're trying to speak to what's going on. We're trying to help people. There is absolutely nothing wrong with anybody having a little bit of cash on hand. Some people have a lot of cash on hand. More power to them, God bless them. But for anybody to sit around and to literally try to make people think that this advice is ignorant, they have no good intentions or will for you. All they're thinking about is how much money are they making off of you in all of these things. Like I said, they are not going to care if little Johnny is, doesn't have a meal tonight. They just want to make sure your money was in the bank so they could make their interest. Now, I think that clarified it. Here's the bottom line. If you don't like what I have to say, move on. Go find you a financial advisor that's telling you to burn your money. I mean, you know, hey, why not? Right? Sounds like fun. But we are going to try to encourage people to think, to have courage to stand up for themselves, to think for their livelihood, uh, to get through a crisis. None of us know exactly what's going to happen and when. But the guarantee of life is, regardless of whether or not you think a financial, economic, world war situation is coming today, next month, next year, the quicker people become more independent-minded and they start putting away a little bit of food here and a little bit of food there, you know, maybe put away five cans of food a week, a $5 bill away a week, you know, a little e extra toothpaste, a little extra this, a little extra that, the safer they're going to be in any form of a crisis. And you are definitely guaranteed a personal crisis. You know, there's going to be a lot of personal crisis that comes our way. Many of our, most of us here, long before we would ever see an economic or a world or a government, long before we would see a Sri Lanka here, you're going to go through your own personal crisis. 
So make sure that you have the important things put away that you need and your family needs and your community needs to push you through as much as possible before it ever really truly gets that bad. What those things are and how much you can do is your business. You have to do the homework. You have to do the labor. You have to do the work because that's what your great, 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 great all your grandparents did. That's what they did. They didn't have somebody coming around and helping them. They did it themselves and they made it. You know how we know this? You're here. You're here. So stop the nonsense, stop the whining, stop the complaining, stop the excuses and get up out of the lazy boy. Go get you a $20 bill if you can today and stick it in a sock. Whatever works for you, darling. But the specifics to what I speak of were very clear in that video. I don't take it back. I won't change my content. I don't apologize. If you can't hang with it, go get you a dip cone and lick your ice cream and watch a Disney movie. Good luck. We appreciate you being here. If you have any questions, let me know. I can always clarify things. <laughs> But we appreciate you being here. I know the majority of you get it. I know the majority of you are you are doing and you want others to do too. You see the writing on the wall. And don't give up your independence. We could we could rant about that all day long, couldn't we? I know. Take care of yourself, okay? Because the truth of the matter is nobody's coming to help you. We are on our own. Take care. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you all the time, and we'll see you on the next video.